It's a mandal. Uh, probably holy, I'm guessing. Hey Manu, I want to take you for some local food now. Newari okay. food. Newari people are the inhabitants of the Kathmandu okay. Valley. Okay. Original inhabitants. So we're going to go try their food, but first, mm -hmm. There's one famous dish here that we just have to try and buck the board. Juju Bho. आज हमारे पास एक फॉरेनर व्लॉगर का व्लॉग है जो इस टाइम पे नेपाल में आए हुए हैं खास इंटरेस्टिंग चीज जो आपको बताऊं इस फॉरेनर व्लॉगर की जो वाइफ है वो इंडियन है तो ये फॉरेनर व्लॉगर अपनी वाइफ के साथ जो इनकी इंडियन वाइफ है वो इसके साथ इंडिया से नेपाल आए हुए है आज देखते है की नेपाल में ये फॉरिनर व्लॉगर क्या करता है और इसकी जो इंडियन वाइफ है वो नेपाल के बारे में क्या बात करती है तो एक इंडियन और एक फॉरिनर का रिव्यू आपको दिखाएंगे नेपाल के बारे में तो आज देखते है इस फॉरिनर और इंडियन लड़की का ये व्लॉग जिस टाइम पे नेपाल में है फिर बात करते व्लॉग के बाद Namaste dosto Manu welcome to Nepal thank you I'm so happy she's here I'm so happy to be back Me with too. my wife <laughs> and so today we're going to take Manu around Kathmandu okay. and we're going to get her first impressions it's her first day here in Kathmandu so let's take her to some incredible sights let's make you eat some incredible food and let's get your first impressions on Nepal okay Manu welcome to Bhaktapur thank you this is an ancient city and it's called the cultural city Okay. And just wait until you walk about 100 meters this way through this cute little courtyard. So what's the first thing you noticed as soon as you got here in Nepal? That there's a lot of Hindi. Devnagari, Devnagari. Devnagari, yeah. Even the number plates say on the cars are in Hindi. Yeah, you guys don't even use um, Devnagari numbers, right? Yeah. But they are yeah. using them here in Nepal. They are. And you can read all the signs, right? Yeah, I can. Me too. Another thing I noticed was um, people follow the lanes more than India <laughs> while people, driving. People are following the road rules. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed they were when you're doing a right turn, people don't go to the left lane and block the left lane. People yeah. let people go to the left and take a left turn. Uh, they don't block it all. Sometimes they do, but more they they follow them more than Indians. What do you think cleanliness? Uh, I'm not sure if it's cleaner than India because we we were in an area which was more like a government area. There was Supreme uh, Court and everything there. I need to spend another day to figure that out. Pollution, okay, pollution. You can give pollution, pollution is right definitely. <laughs> well, how can it be not, <laughs> not less polluted? My. I can look. We can see the sky. You know. Yeah. The sky is blue. Ah, huh, so it's just after Diwali and it's Delhi is super polluted and my lungs feel better. She showed me the footage of leaving Delhi and the sky is yellow. <laughs> Can't see anything. <laughs> Here the, like we're in a valley right the Kathmandu Valley and it's so beautiful being in a valley like that cuz we're surrounded by mountains. Uh. But the problem here is you can't you can't really see the mountains most days because the pollution is bad. But today we got a little view of them but I just wish there was no pollution and then we'd be able to like see those mountains every single day and see uh. the snow on top. Oh, well, on our way here, you missed you missed two things. So we drove for a protest, then you fell asleep and um <laughs> and uh, and you missed uh, an accident. No, I saw the protest, I missed the accident. Ah, uh, okay, so we saw a motorcycle get run over by a sumo. Oh, I didn't want to see that either. Yeah. So there's a lot of guides and a lot of kind of street hustlers here in Nepal, just like India. So this guy did they just hunting for foreigners and trying to sell stuff. basically and he did a big spell on you trying to sell you some <laughs> paintings and stuff it's like come on man we're here to relax we're not here to buy paintings and um and, and the street hustlers here they come up to her cuz they think she's a foreigner as well and then i, I speak hindi and they're surprised and i've i've got different reactions <laughs> from people some of them love that i'm speaking hindi but then they realize that i'm indian and then then uh, their reaction changes oh Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sad. So there's one similarity. Hustlers. Huh. And people asking for money also. Yeah. 
Manu, just explain what is happening right here. I think this is the place where they hang out. This is like a hangout spot, right? Yeah. There's a lot of these kind of squares on the corners here. There's another one right here. What's that letter? <laughs> Kaila something. Looks like Ja, but it's not Ja. Falecha. What's a Falecha? Don't know. I don't know. Falecha. It's a mandal. Uh, probably holy, I'm guessing. Hi right, Manu, I want to take you for some local food now. Newari okay. food. Newari people are the inhabitants of the Kathmandu okay. Valley. Okay. Original inhabitants. So we're going to go try their food, but first, mm -hmm. there's one famous dish here that we just have to try in Bhaktapur. Juju Do. Ha, Juju Do. Because <laughs> we've been seeing the signs for it absolutely everywhere. Juju Do store. And uh, what it is, it's yogurt. It's very special from this part of Kathmandu. And uh, what's your experience been here in, in Bhaktapur so far? It's, it's nice that it, this place is so ancient and there's lots of history, but it's not abandoned at the same time. There's people living here. It's cool, no? Yeah, it's like a living, living heritage city, I guess you can say. Yeah, that. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's still alive and kicking. It's awesome. All right, guys, this is Juju Do, and it's basically yogurt in a matka. This was made at Potter's Square, so it's just kind of clay. Manu, try this, okay? Okay. Try this Juju Do. Do we, do we mix it first? No, no, no. It's just yogurt. You just eat it like that, like a sweet. Mm. It's good, no? Nah? It's nice. It's <laughs> not too sweet. No, it's not too sweet, and it's mm. refreshing. And you can see kind of how creamy it is. It is super, super creamy. Mm. I can eat that whole bowl, you know? <laughs> it is just so creamy. Like, this is not normal yogurt. This is like Greek yogurt, you know? Like, it's not going <laughs> to fall off. Okay, Mano, follow me. I'm going to take you for Newari food now. Okay. And you can taste the flavor of the Kathmandu Valley, okay? And their food is so different. Like, when you look at the menu, you're like, what is all this stuff? It's just, it's very, very different. Huh. It's very, very tasty. Nice. See what I mean? Yeah. Like, the only thing you probably know here is a dahi, <laughs> sausage. And this looks like a momo, but this is like a special type of momo, okay? This is lobia. They you call it bodhi here. I know this, this is, looks like lobia. Sa uh, sausage is sausage. Sausage, sausage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fried potatoes, that's what I'm going oh, to Oh no, order. no, no. That's not that. <laughs> this is not Newari food. Tareko alu. No, 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 no. No, no. I know chow mein. So we're going to go in here. I've been eating here every single time I come to Bhaktapur and I've been about three times now. So this is um, a Newari restaurant. And these two lovely ladies, these are the chefs and they're always here whenever I come and yeah, they're cooking for everybody on these, on these pans up the back here. One is kua, kua. And one is saku. Okay. Oh, one what's is like uh, saku and one is like from, made from the milk. When you come out to this little courtyard, and take a seat babe. <laughs> It's cool, no? It's cute. Did you notice how small the... the roots are? Yeah, the roots are really small. Like, I'm having to bend, <laughs> if you look at me. We're just looking through this menu here, and um, we've ordered bara, which is a lentil pancake, which you'll see very soon. It's so good. Mandu's never, never even seen it in her life. And we've ordered yomari, which looks really scary to me, so let, let's try yomari. <laughs> like, when you break into it, it's just, it's really red. Uh -oh. And the other thing on this Newari menu is everything is buffalo. Buffalo stomach, marinated buffalo meat, buffalo meat cooked with egg, a little bit of chicken, buffalo tongue, buffalo brain boiled, sliced and fried. So we call that beja fry in India. And 
leaf tribe bag stuffed with bone marrow. This tongue. Buffalo chili, chili buffalo. So they don't eat uh, cow here in Nepal. You, it's actually, you can't slaughter them here. So to get around that, they import beef from Bangladesh. But here we'll only be eating buffalo today. Thank you. Okay, this is the omari, no? Yes. Huh? Omari. And inside, let me cut into it, show everybody. Oh, it's different. Okay, this is the milk the one. The milk one. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't eaten anything like this before. That's what I say about mewari food. It's, it's unique. A, it's a sweet momo. With like a um, rubbery in it. Except the outside is very different to a normal momo. It's much it's thicker. It's very thick. Huh? And it's a different grain. Something total. It's something else total. I like it actually. Oh, here's butter. Thank you, bro. I love this. So I've been here three times to this restaurant, yes. so I know you. Yes, me too. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm coming back, bro. No. This might be my last time. Is, is your wife? Yeah, this is my wife. She finally came from India. India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much, oh, man. So I've been here a number of times, and every single time I have this. Manu, show Ooh. them your butter. This is butter, <laughs> and you, you have to roll yeah, the R, okay, butter. Say mm -hmm. butter. Butter. Okay. She says it better than me. Butter, <laughs> butter. You gotta roll the R. And it's a lentil pancake with buffalo and an egg cracked on top and it's savory, okay? Nice. Manu, just bite into this lentil pancake. Mm. It's good, nah? The outside is very crispy, which I like. And oh. it, it has a lot of flavor, but it's not too spicy. Yeah. Perfect, nah? Yeah. Uh. This is a chutney. Eat this, put this chutney on it. The chutney is so good. I don't, this oh. is like tomato and a few other things. Uh, huh. It goes really well with butter. And so over the next few days, we're going to be traveling around Nepal and really enjoying. And uh, yeah, join us on this journey. So you will see a vlog that will be interesting. As you all know that people come to Nepal in the world and especially for India. Now, for Indian people, they don't have to worry about visa passport. So, this is a foreign vlogger who has been in many countries. One time, he was in Pakistan, Nepal and in all these countries. He was in the middle of it. That's about 2-3 years ago. But as soon as he has been married, he has been in India. Then, he has been in Nepal for 10 years. So, this is a very good thing. 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 So, this is लेकिन वो नहीं ले जा पाए तो अब वो पाकिस्तान में उन्होंने बाइक जो है वो रेंट भी ली और पाकिस्तान में वो बाइक पे घूम रहे पा, पाकिस्तान के कल्चर देख रहे कि पाकिस्तान का कल्चर कैसा है वेल well, मैं आप लोगों को ये बता दूं कि जब भी नेपाल में कोई आता है तो एंजॉय करके जाता है ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई भी इंजॉय करके नहीं जाता मेरा खुद दिल होता है लेकिन पाकिस्तान से डायरेक्ट फ्लाइट नहीं है एक तो ये टेंशन है दूसरी बात यह की कनेक्टिंग फ्लाइट है तो फिर कनेक्टिंग फ्लाइट में यार खर्चा बहुत हो जाता है आने जाने का मेरे ख्याल से तकरीबन पाकिस्तानी डेढ़ लाख रूपये लग जाएगा इंडियन कोई पचास लग जाएगा नेपाली भी पचास साठ लगेगा लेकिन पाकिस्तानी डेढ़ लाख रुपए मेरा लगेगा के अलावा अगर आप इंडिया से आना चाहते हैं नेपाल तो आपके पास मुख्तलिफ ऑप्शन है ट्रेन में आ सकते हैं आप बस में आ सकते हैं आप जो है वो अपनी बाइक पे आ सकते हैं अपनी कार पे आ सकते हैं पैदल भी आ सकते हैं तो मैं कह रहा हूँ कि ये जो इंडियन लड़की थी ब्लॉगर के साथ इस फॉरनर ब्लॉगर के साथ ये जो है इसको पासपोर्ट वीजे की जरूरत तो नहीं पड़ी होगी लेकिन इनकी हो सकता है की यहाँ से फिर दूसरी जगह जाना हो तो वहाँ के लिए उन्होंने पासपोर्ट वीजा लिया हो लेकिन नेपाल में इंडियन लोगों के लिए हो या चाहे किसी भी मुल्क के लिए वीजे की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती इंडियन के लिए तो पासपोर्ट की जरूरत भी नहीं पड़ती तो अगर आप नेपाल आना चाहते हैं इंडिया से तो फिर आपको टेंशन नहीं है नेपाल में देखिए सबसे मेन बात आपको ये बता दूं कि काठमांडू जब आते हो तो यहाँ पे आपको दरबार स्क्वायर मिलेगा दरबार स्क्वायर में काफी सारी पुरानी इमारतें हैं जो कि दो दो तीन तीन साल पुरानी है सबसे मेन बात ये कि 2015 में जब जलजल आया था भूकंप आया था तकरीबन नौ साल हो गए उस भूकंप को उस खतरनाक भूकंप में भी वो बिल्डिंग वो घर नहीं गिरे जो लकड़ी से बनाए गए थे वो बिल्डिंग गिरी है जो सीमेंट से बनाए गए थे वो सारी बिल्डिंग गिर गई लेकिन लकड़ी वाली बिल्डिंग वैसे की वैसे ही है लकड़ी वाले घर वैसे के वैसे जो मंदिर बनाए गए है लकड़ी के वो वैसे के वैसे है तो ये एक हिस्ट्री है नेपाल की और इसके अलावा ग्रेटर नेपाल की हिस्ट्री है इंडिया नेपाल पाकिस्तान के साथ तो वो जब आप नेपाल आते हो वो सीखते हो वो पता चलता है आपको तो फिर आप लोगों का माइंड खुल जाता है रिलेशन के बारे में भी इंडिया नेपाल के तालुक के बारे में भी और बाकी सारी चीजों के बारे में भी तो आपका माइंड जरा फ्रेश हो जाता है की आपने कहा कहाँ पे घूमना है कहाँ कहाँ पे नहीं घूमना सिर्फ घूमना फिरना नहीं होता इसके अलावा हिस्ट्री है हिस्टोरिकल जगह है जिनको आप देखोगे तो आपको मतलब वो जगह आपको एकदम बैक मिली जाएगी जैसे की आप नाइनटीन में या नाइनटीन के अंदर एरा में घूम रहे हो ऐसा जब आप पुरानी इमारतों को देखते हो तो ऐसा लगता है कि नहीं 
دیکھتا آپ مجھے لازمی بتائے میں تو جب ایسی پرانی جگہوں کو دیکھتا تو میرے مائنڈ میں چل رہا تھا کہ یار میں کہیں پچاس ساٹھ سال پہلے پیچھے چلا گیا ہوں تو میرے مائنڈ میں تو وہ ساری چیزیں چلتی ہے تو آپ فارنر آتے ہیں تو ظاہر سی بات ہے ان کو ہسٹری بھی پتا ہوگی یا ہسٹری نہیں بھی پتا تو ہسٹری معلوم کریں گے اور پھر انڈین ان کے ساتھ ہے تو پھر کھانے پینے انہوں نے بہت انجوائے کیے ہوں گے نیپال کے جو آپ لوگوں کو پتا ہے کہ نیپال اور انڈیا کے کھانے تقریباً سیم ہے سملر کھانے ہیں سملر ٹیسٹ ہے اور انجوائے کرتے ہیں یہ لوگ